Yes, Chris, that emotion was so high in the same place where so many people were injured and so many lives were taken. Two family members of the victims clashed over the president's response to the killings, one in favor and one opposing. It got very heated, but here's how it played out and how that conflict was diffused. What is he doing about it? What is he supposed He's making a to do? tweet behind he Twitter. He's done do? nothing but made a tweet what behind Twitter. The president what I do? want him to do is stand up and be a man and show his face like Obama, you the 44th president, president, did. Tensions boiled in Dayton as grief turned into anger among the family members of victims gunned down in another senseless act of violence. That's the problem right there. We want to say that it's a mental issue. It goes deeper than being a mental issue. The loud commotion of the debate playing out right in front of the bar where nine were shot and more than two dozen others were injured seemingly had no end in sight until another man steps in to intervene. And I have condolence for you, but we don't need to be arguing. We need to be thinking about these people. That's it. That's it. Not our president, not none of this. Because this racist crap, all this stuff's got to stop. These killings gotta stop, and I'm pissed yeah. off. We're gonna get through this. We're gonna get through this. And you can just feel the raw emotion just from the sight of those two men hugging alone. Now, at the end of the day, it's going to be unity that will make this city stronger in such a turbulent time as this. For now, we're reporting live in Dayton, Victor Williams, 19 News. We're going to go ahead and toss it to Tiffany in the studio. Absolutely emotional, Victor. Thank you.